His way with words was second to none, and tonight we here at CBS are mourning the loss of longtime Sunday morning host Charles Osgood. His skillful storytelling carried him through a decades-long career as a journalist. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor here now with more on his life and extraordinary career. Can't you just hear his voice in your head right now? I mean, just so, so distinct. Award-winning journalist Charles Osgood worked at CBS News for 45 years. He was born in New York City in 1933. As a boy, he had a newspaper route, a sign of things to come. The story of Osgood's life had many chapters. He served as band announcer for the U.S. Army for three years, was a talented musician, and, oh yeah, was a heck of a storyteller. You know the song? You are my sunshine. For 22 years, Americans tuned in to CBS Sunday Morning with Charles Osgood. I'm Charles Osgood, and this is Sunday Morning. He began hosting the show in 1994 after Charles Corralt passed the baton. We'll be in the good hands of Charles Osgood starting next Sunday morning. With one of the most distinctive voices in broadcasting. People heard the news bulletins. And his trademark bow ties. Osgood brought more than 6 million weekly viewers music Just like the ones I used to know and poetry we know paying taxes is fair and it's just but it's foolish to pay any more than we must as host of the Emmy winning program people can listen to a newscast and come away thinking boy this is a terrible time to be alive that's not the whole story there, there, there is a whole story about uh, people who are doing wonderful things. The Bronx native spent nearly half a century at CBS News. Charles Osgood, CBS News on a 1949 Motorola. Building a reputation as a respected journalist. At the top of the news, President Bush is in Holland. And a gifted writer. They call it cyberphobia. But his first love, radio. See you on the radio. I say that every week. A peculiar phrase some people think for anyone to speak. Osgood got his start at Fordham University's WFUV. This is Charles Osgood. And later launched The Osgood File, one of the longest running features in radio history. Edward R. Morrow sure knew how to use his voice on the radio. He was at home at the piano. He wrote a song that charted in 1967 and performed on some iconic stages. He signed off from the radio at the end of 2017 and said goodbye to Sunday morning a year earlier at age 83. I want to thank you all in our wonderful audience, and I also want to thank all these people. Osgood said if it were possible, he would have done it forever. And I've got to be drifting along. So hard to believe he's gone. He is survived by his wife of 50 years, five children, and two siblings. Charles Osgood died Tuesday at home in New Jersey. His family says his cause of death was dementia. Charles Osgood was 91 years old. Back in 2013, I had the privilege of sitting on a journalism panel with him since we're both Fordham and WFUV alums just a few years apart. And I remember what stood out to me was just how sharp he was. Everything about him was so distinctive. His voice, his style, you know, you turn on the TV now, you see a lot of the same, but he truly stood out. He leaves quite a legacy. And I have to point out, I'm sitting there thinking, what am I doing on a panel with Charles Osgood? <laughs> but he didn't treat me that way. He treated me like a peer, and that meant so much. And he, you know, is still inspiring so many journalists to this Such day. a kind and generous man. I remember him mostly as the radio guy mm -hmm. with the rhymes and the poetry and all that. But then to get to meet him, like you're saying, so wonderful, right? That's just, he lived up to expectations and exceeded them. And so well known, you'd right. think, uh, maybe, but no, no, just a really nice no, guy. No, he was a true gentleman. Absolutely. He was exactly like he was on TV, yeah. you know? Yeah. Right That's about really that. what struck you. Thank you, Alice. That was a really nice look back. It was, yeah. We have continuing coverage on our website. There you can find Charles Osgood's life and pictures, as well as links to some of his most watched interviews. Find that at cbsnewyork.com.